Do you think humans are naturally monogamous? Look, like five million years ago, our ancestors had huge sex differences in body size. The males were about twice as big and, and heavy and strong as the females. Wow. And that is what you see when there's a highly、um, polygamous system, meaning the top few males mate with most of the women, and then most of the males don't get any mates. But then what happens is the males evolve to be a little taller and a little stronger, but the females start to catch up. Right? The females rapidly、yeah. increase, and that's an indicator、wow. of pair bonding. That's an indicator that Males and females were were matching up, that they were forming long-term relationships that were at least socially monogamous. Now that still leaves some room for like high-status, high-prestige males to sort of go outside the pair bond, right, and to attract additional women. So there's a kind of complicated system of like high-status male polygamy 